So I'm here at the ID Tech X show with Simon Jones from Flex Enable. It's Flex Enable that have created this conformal LCD display. Tell us about it, Simon. Yeah, so um, we've been working on organic transistors on plastic substrates uh, for a long time now. And the latest application that we're focused on is actually taking the glass out of a conventional LCD display. So this is a, many things are totally conventional about this display, except that it's um, thin and plastic, and it can be wrapped around the surfaces of a product. Right. So is the, the LCD front plane itself the, just the same as what we find on a glass-based LCD display? Very, very much so, very right. close to that, right. yes. And for some applications, like, for example, automotive, where the qualification challenges for a display technology oh. like LCD are very severe, if you can reuse those materials that are already qualified, that's a huge advantage. Right. So LCD companies who currently process on glass, are they able to use this technology and how easy is it for them to migrate their existing platform to this platform? We have designed the process exactly for that. So an existing and more silicon um, LCD line can be converted using almost all of the same equipment. Right. So um, if we're talking about something like a Gen 4.5 line, that could be half a billion dollars worth of equipment, the vast majority of which we'd reuse for this glass-free right. version of LCD. Right. What if, Be sorry. Because it's organic, based on organic transistors on low-cost plastic substrates, mm. we do introduce some solution coating where previously there would have been PVD-type processes. Right. And so we, uh, there would be some coating machines and some lamination, but substantially you're talking about the same equipment. And is your technology to process this on a higher temperature substrate and then remove it um, to the final plastic substrate or do you process it all straight onto the flexible plastic substrate initially? One of the great unique things about our process is it's all at low temperature so right. we can do everything on the final substrate. Right. In, in fact we do mount that substrate to glass so that the, um, it can be easily handled through the process but we have a very high yielding low complexity way of then demounting uh, the complete display. That's um, uh, in contrast to some of the other flexible display technologies where you have to heat it up a lot with lasers in order right. to release it. And actually, you can destroy the carrier glass. We reuse the carrier glass. Right. Yeah. And so what's next for you? How are you progressing it from this you know, demonstrator to, to a vehicle? What are the steps involved? Yeah, there's two uh, parallel things there. Mm. One is to actually build prototypes and install this in actual vehicles and drive it around and enable people to develop system solutions and software and other components needed to make a really compelling huge user interface from it. So that's one thing. And then secondly, we're working with the um, manufacturers who are or who own these existing amorphous silicon TFT fabs, which we will convert to this technology. Yeah. So bring the, all the elements of the supply chain together to deliver this as a product as soon as possible. And does this need customized driving electronics versus conventional displays? No, it uses um, totally standard LCD drive. Right. In fact, for the electronics, as far as electronics is concerned, it's a conventional LCD display. Right. And Flexable as a company, uh, what is your model? Is it to license technology to those in the LCD business or, or, or are you looking to make these yourself? Yes, so that is our business model. We've mm -hmm. got this very now very high performing transistor technology. The transistors are higher performance than the Morpher Silicon, which is a dominant incumbent technology for um, right. silicon backplanes. Um, so our, our business model is to take this new um, high performing transistors and enable many manufacturing scenarios in different applications with different different customers in different spaces. Right. Great. There's far more you can do with this than any one single factory could possibly right. do. Um, it's so broadly applicable now. And I, yeah, these are um, these are commercially available flexible displays from uh, commercially available from Plastic Logic, um, which uses the Flex Enable transistor platform. Flex Enable is actually the R&D team from Plastic Logic. Uh, now spun out with this uh, licensing business model. So this proves that the, we, what we have here is a genuine industrial process. We're the first team to have ever successfully taken organic transistors up to an industrial scale. And so um, you know, we've already been through the um, process of making this actually work in a, in a factory right. environment. Simon, thanks very much. It's a pleasure, Reggie. Thank you.